Hi. Today I'm going to talk about historic documents. They're very important in how they help us study history. Historians often use primary sources to help them understand history. Primary source comes directly from someone who was there when an event happened. Sometimes primary sources are photographs. Sometimes they are interviews of people who were at an event. Primary sources can also be newspaper articles or magazines that were written at the time of the event and quote someone who was there. With technology and the internet, it can be difficult to know if a primary source is real and credible. When doing an internet search, it is best to use websites that can be trusted. Websites with .edu and .gov endings usually can be trusted because they come from schools and the government. Better yet, people can go to libraries and government buildings and see primary sources for themselves. The Federalist Papers are an example of a primary source. There were 85 Federalist Papers written to support the Constitution. The text of all the essays has been recorded and is available on many different .gov and .edu websites. Why are there so many? Alexander Hamilton answers that question in the very first paper he called General Introduction. Read the text in the box. In this section, Alexander Hamilton tells the readers of the Federalist Papers that he will explain and answer all of the objections, reasons others did not want the Constitution. It took the three authors 85 essays to explain their points. It worked, and the Constitution was ratified. General Introduction in the progress of this discussion, I shall endeavor to give a satisfactory answer to all the objections which shall have made their appearance that may seem to have any claim to your attention. Thank you very much.